Let's bring on board uh, Kirandeep S. Swani, Managing Director at Swani Spices, joining in at us this afternoon to talk more about that. Thank you so much, sir, for joining in at us uh, this afternoon. Pleasure, and, pleasure, Vinny. And, uh, sir, firstly, you know, I want to uh, obviously talk about, you know, you... Uh, the climate changes that is an important topic that comes in terms of you know spices or the agri industry just in general so when you're talking about the climate changes how does it actually affect us and you know what should one be doing in terms of you know the derivatives how can we leverage that opportunity to protect ourselves uh, say ourselves from this uh, change in climate uh we need let's talk climate change first okay uh the fact that it's here and it's there to stay now, I'm just giving you one small example. Uh, let's take jeera or cumin seed, for instance, where we talk of the derivatives will come to that. In the last two years, what we have seen is that there is no spring. From winter, it moves straight to a hot season. We are seeing weather warnings of heat coming now from IMDA also. Now, what that has done, is this is the springtime when the seed or when the plant is maturing and the jeera is gaining weight. Likewise in the coriander. Uh, when you suddenly go into a hot season, it affects the yield, it affects the throughput of the farmer and affects the markets. Now, this is something which has now happened for a second year in consecutive. Uh, we need to put our heads down, look at it and see how are we going to tackle this? Are we going to plant earlier? Uh, what are we going to do? Will the climate allow that? What are the uh, measures need to be taken? And this is something where the agronomists have to be brought in. Now, uh, go ahead. Uh, your next question. I want to know, you know, you are a manufacturer yourself. So how do you, how does one, you know, as a market participant actually use the commodity derivative tools uh, or hedge themselves in terms of any movement in terms of price? How does one use that? What are the benefits that one sees from this? A um, couple of things. First of all, now for me as a processor, exporter, I am not in the business of speculation. I'm in the business of the service industry. So if, if I have, you know, with big corporates, sometimes you have to do annual contracts. Once you do that, you have to protect yourself from the market risks. And this is where, you know, the, uh, the NCDX portals uh, come in really very handy to us because we can cover forwards and protect our risks. Right, sir. And, That's uh... the same with coriander, the same with turmeric. Right, sir. And also just in terms of, you know, anything uh, on uh, other than on the fundamentals that are impacting the industries that one could look at in terms of, you know, derivatives and spice export market that one should be looking at from the derivatives point of view? A uh, couple of things that come to my mind, first of all, is that uh, we've only got three spices on the portal. Right. Uh, we need to be looking at bringing in other major products uh, also. Okay, on that note, th thank you so much, sir, for joining in with us uh, this afternoon.